All right, hello students. In this video, we're going to compute the uh, curl of this uh, vortex field. If you have not seen the vortex field introduction video, um, I highly recommend you watch that one first um, before proceeding to this one. In that video, I view the vortex field as a two-dimensional vector field. In this video, I view it as a three-dimensional vector field. Um, all right, without further ado, let's compute the curl of this field. Here's a definition of the vortex field. Um, so once again, I'm uh, repeat. I'm viewing this as a three-dimensional field. So f x y z, and um, that's minus y i plus x j. And uh, recall that um, uh, having the minus y in this component is going to, um, and having a positive x in this component is going to um, look what that's going to do. The axes. So if you have um, x is one, y is zero, then that's going to push us in the um, <clears throat> 0 comma 1 direction and uh, likewise for all the other axes so remember that's um, that's in the uh, vortex field intro um, if I write this as um, f x y z um, you can certainly see that the z component is going to be 0 there is a there is a plus 0 k um, up here but we typically don't write that um, so just to make that clear I put it um, here and uh, we're going to compute the curl of this vector field so recall that the curl is the grad cross the vector field. Um, so the mnemonic for that is this determinant. Um, where I just put the vector field in the last component and the uh, gradient operator in the second row. And uh, here we go. Just apply the definition. So along the i column um, we compute this uh, the determinant of um, this lower minor. So um, dy0, dzx, okay, and you see that here. And then similarly minus j along this. Um, column and then um, uh, we compute um, this little determinant here so that um, you're crossing this way and then uh, down and to the left and then similarly plus k and um, that's along this column here and then we compute this determinant um, down to the right and then back to the left. Now the only thing that's going to survive here is the k component um, because the derivative of 0 is 0. The, derivative of the partial of x with respect to z is of course 0 derivative of 0 is 0 and the partial of minus y with respect to z is still going to be 0. So these two terms vanish. So the only thing that survives here is dx dx which is 1 minus and then d minus y with respect to y is minus 1. So uh, 1 minus minus 1 is 1 plus 1 that gives us 2 and that's in the k component. So the curl of f is equal to um, grad cross f and that gives us 2k. Uh, notice that um, that gives us a vector in the perpendicular uh, direction, perpendicular to the xy plane. So here's our little vortex field spinning around. And 2k um, goes up in the uh, perpendicular direction. And uh, recall that the cross product in general gives us a vector that is perpendicular um, to um, two other vectors. Um, so. Uh, when uh, we look for an interpretation of curl, um, uh, this picture is going to um, uh, become very important. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, you may want to return to this video later. All right, that's all I got. So um, good luck.